Hello. Um, I'll just wait. Just make sure this is working all right. Hopefully it is. I don't know. All right, I think we're okay because I see somebody on and it's my friend, so I'm very thankful. Um, hey guys, so uh, thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm about one minute early, but I'll still start just because I like being on time. Um, but today we're gonna spend about 15 minutes or 20 talking about the tips and tricks of Instagram and how we can use it more to utilize, or more, use it more in our business for real estate specifically. Um, just a quick introduction about myself. My name is Christina Grosu. I am 29 years old. Hey guys, everyone saying hi. Um, I'm 29 years old and I was, I grew up in Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, I moved to Mooresville, North Carolina, which is about 30 miles north of Charlotte. And I've been a broker for about eight years. And this year I've been fortunate enough to have been inducted into the um, William C. Bass Leadership Academy with the NC Realtors, and I've also been a part of the um, 30 Under 30 National Association of Realtors for 2019. So I'm so thankful that I was able to join these amazing group of people and individuals across the U.S. and across North Carolina. Um, in terms of social media, I was voted number one social media um, real estate agent in Charlotte last year by Property Spark. I have not seen the 2019 um, awardees, so hopefully I'm on there. Let's pray. But if you know me, I live, breathe, and sleep social media. Um, I'm always on my phone. I'm constantly being yelled at by my boyfriend and by my parents for being on my phone. So when I got that award, it was a bit, um, a bit more validating that it's good in some aspect. Before I get into everything, if you have an Instagram account, go ahead and wherever the comment box is, go ahead and post your Instagram name. Um, after this is all over, I'll personally go through and add every single one of you guys. And if you guys want to add your fellow um, realtors who are watching today, feel free to do so as well. Um, I think agents tend to realize that Instagram is a referral network. Um, we do a lot of networking at bars and restaurants and social events and you have you have the best networking tool in your hand constantly so with the 30 under 30 this year I've been really fortunate to have um, met a bunch of the realtors that are part of that group and we're all we're all connected via the internet of course um, but it's nice to know that you can find somebody quickly in another state and instantly connect with them and refer business out and get paid for it basically so Keep that in mind as you're adding people and um, I'm just trying to see everybody's on there. Cool. Um, if you do have Instagram, which it looks like most of you guys do, um, I'm gonna this this talk today is gonna be mainly about how to use Instagram. It's not gonna be about um, how to post or how to create an account. However, if you do need help with that, I'm more than welcome to, or more than happy to assist you. Um, all you have to do is send me a private message, or if you're on Instagram already, you can send me a DM, um, which is direct message. It's the little icon in the top right-hand corner of your phone. So you can click that, and you can send a message to anybody, anywhere, um, even if you don't follow them or they don't follow you. So just keep that in mind as well. So if you need help with that, I'm more than happy to help you, um, but today is going to be more about how to utilize it. So I did a few, I pulled a few stats before I was going to do this speech. Um, and I realized that Instagram has 1 billion active monthly followers and users. So everyone has an account. And that includes your, your parents or your grandparents or your children, um, your old boss, your broker in charge probably. Um, they're all following you and they're all consistently and constantly looking at what you're doing. And that's kind of freaky to think about um, when, you, when you're posting and it kind of it was a mind shift for me because I realized that you post one thing out there and all of a sudden thousands of people are going to be able to see it instantly. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're posting and also just don't forget that everybody already knows you're a realtor. Um, there's, I think the number I just got from um, Caitlin Thompson was about 100,000 realtors in North Carolina. So 
we're all realtors basically. Everyone knows you sell and buy houses. Um, so as I talk more about this, I'm gonna explain my experience in social media and Instagram specifically and how I had a mind shift a few years ago um, and what I've done to change that. So you guys are all posting, that's great, um, all your names. And I see that somebody just, I'm not calling you out Ward, but um, so the at sign is your handle. So if someone ever asks you what your handle is, you basically are gonna give them that at sign and then type your name. So I assume it's Ward Rick, but um, I'll, I'll find you later, no worries. So you guys have your Instagram page, great. Think about the last time you posted. Um, it was either 10 minutes ago, it was probably two hours ago, a week ago, um, maybe never, which is kind of fun. Those are the best type of Instagram users because they have, they show that you can, you can see their growth over time. Um, if you've never posted, think about why you've never posted. Are you just too busy or do you not want to post? Um, not posting is not always better than having an account. So if you do have an account, make sure you're active on it because your clients and your friends want to follow you and see what you're doing. Now that you thought about that, think about what type of profile you actually have. So there's three different types of profiles. There's a private page, there's a public page, and then there's a business profile. And as we all know, private is you don't want people to see your things. You want to be private. You only want your friends or family to look at what you're doing, um, what you're posting, and that's great. And that's how I use social media um, all throughout college. I was private and I basically didn't, I didn't have a reason to show other people what I was doing. Um, but then when I got my real estate license, I thought, what, what is the ultimate sort? Like, why are we trying to use Instagram for real estate? And the main reason is lead generation. We're trying to find buyers for our listings. We're trying to find new buyers. We're trying to find new listings, um, new rentals. You're trying to do all that. But it's really hard to do that when your page is private. Because if you post a new listing, um, only those 200 people who follow you are basically going to see your things. And if you're constantly posting new listing, new house sold, um, new open house, you're not, really, you're not really having the opportunity to reach thousands of people as if your page was public. So if you are more of a private person, then more power to you. That is awesome. Um, Sometimes I wish I could be a little bit more private, but I've realized my whole business now is posting what I do on a daily basis. And just a quick, quick story about me. My first post was in 2011, and I went back on my page and looked, and it was of my feet on the dashboard of my car going cross country for college. And I was private, and I have one like on that post. Um, flash forward today, and I, I basically, only post on my on my feed, which are the little squares um, where you post things and post what you're doing. I I don't post anything real estate related anymore. Um, I post a lot about my travels, a lot about my family, a lot about my animals. I have five dogs. Um, I'm really passionate about those things. But I'm also passionate about real estate. However, like I said, my mind shift. I've transferred or I've I've changed my mind to more of. I want my clients to want to work with me because I have dogs. So I had a client who said, hey, I want you to be my realtor because you have five dogs and I love watching what you do every morning when you feed them. And I'm like, oh, that's great. Like you don't care about how many houses I've sold? No, no. I just, I, I know you're a realtor. I know that you can do your job like we all can. Um, but it was something that they connected on. And as I've gotten busier and as I've, Change this mindset. I've realized I've become happier with my clients. Um, I can connect more with my clients. My clients want to follow me and see what I'm doing and see where I'm traveling. Um, so that's something to remember too when you're posting. Just keep in the back of your mind that there's people out there that you don't know who want to work with you yet, and they may um, they may not want to work with you, which is cool, but they may want to, and they're going to come approach you because of what you're posting. So always keep that in mind. Um, so if you're public, anybody can see what you're posting. So that includes your stories, that includes your geotags, um, it includes anything that you post. So that's also something to think in mind or keep in mind when you're um, when you post where you're at. People know that you're not home. So that's a little. That's kind of another way that social media can be bad. But um, 
Just remember that anybody can see anything at any time and anything can be saved. So with us being realtors and having a code of ethics, we always have to uphold to the highest standard. Um, so just, just keep that in mind that every advertisement you do um, has to include your name, your company, and all that. And if you post on your stories, your new listing, it still has to abide by all the guidelines because that is a real estate post. Um, when I was in uh, when I was in Chicago last week for the, um, I went and toured the uh, NC Realtor or not NC Realtors now Association of Realtors headquarters. Um, we had a quote that was spoken, and I really liked it. It was a leader needs to be genuine or genuine, however you want to say it. Um, basically, people want to work with you because of who you are and what you do. Um, there's ways to post real estate constantly, which I do. I, I do open houses or um, new listings. I love posting new listings online. You can tag it in the geo tag of where that listing is and anybody around there can see that post, which is amazing too, if you didn't know that. Um, there's a lot you can dive into and I wish I could talk more about it, but just make sure you stay true to who you are. There's, there's 100,000 of us and you wanna be the reason that they choose or you want to be the reason that a client chooses you and not another realtor. Um, with that being said, I will, if there's any questions, I don't know if there are. Do you discourage having two Instagram pages? Pri okay, so I had a private and a personal, and or private and a real estate page, and I would post on one, and I'd post on my real estate on the other, and I quickly realized that my lives were intertwined. There wasn't anything I was posting on my private page that I wouldn't want everybody to see at once. Um, so I did have two pages and I combined them into Christina Agent. And basically now this page is my life with real estate entwined into it, intertwined into it. Um, and it's, it's helped my business. I've probably done half of my business last year from social media and Instagram. So I definitely, I would, this is my personal opinion, but I would do one main page with your whole life in real estate because that's who you are. So um, I don't know if there's any other questions, but if there are, feel free to comment. A um, few other things that you can do with your Instagram, and looks like we have 13 minutes, but um, when, you, when you post a story, it's a 10 to 15 second clip of what you're doing. So it's instant satisfaction, it's instant gratification from your clients, and they'll, they can click it, pass it, swipe it, delete it, whatever they wanna do. Um, it's when you put that idea into their mind um, that you're a real estate broker, you do so with open house, this, visit me here. Then you go back to living your life and showing your kids and showing your travels, and it, it, keeps, you, it keeps you current in their mind. Um, and like I said, you could do the geotags with your stories. Um, that's, if you don't know what a geotag, a geotag is where you can select a location for your post. So if you have a new listing, you can select Lake Norman and whoever is looking at the Lake Norman feed will basically see your post. Um, and it's, it's crazy because you'll get all these random people commenting, hey, where's that house for sale? Oh, that house is 123 Main Street. Would you like to see it? Yes. Do you have a realtor? No. Great. Let's see it. It's that easy. It's, and then you have a new client that you didn't know was even following you from the beginning, or they maybe weren't following you. And now they are, um, business versus personal. So the third one that I did not talk about, I knew I was going to get sidetracked is a business page. So a business Instagram page is public. It's not private, but it's linked to a, um, it's linked to your Facebook business page. So for me, I have Christina Gross, a realtor at Realty One Group Select is my Facebook heading page. Um, if you post something on your business page, it will automatically sync to that business and it will post whatever you posted on Instagram to your Facebook. So you can kill two birds with one stone. Um, the other thing that a business page does, it gives you analytics of who follows you, um, the demographics of where they're looking, the age, a bunch of different stuff that we didn't even know that they were tracking. Um, and then you can see that per post or weekly or monthly. You can also see how many people have visited your page. Um, I personally have a business page. Um, I've always had a business page 
There's some things that you can do with a business page that you can't do with a public page. So there's, it's, it's your choice. Um, if you don't have a business Facebook page, then you can't have a business Instagram page, if that makes sense. How many times a week would you recommend for business to post on their Instagram? So to post on your Instagram feed, I post personally, this is my feeling, I post big moments that I feel my friends should or want to want to know about. Um, when I got my GRI, I posted a GRI photo. I had a huge amount of likes and because we all care about that. Um, and I had a lot of messages, congrats and all that. I post big life events. However, if you are doing a real estate page, I would post new listings, I would post um, new clients that you've closed houses with. And if you do post client photos, make sure you get their permission. Um, hey, listen, I'm gonna, let's take this photo, I'm gonna post it on um, my Instagram, is that okay? Yes, super, then you can post it. Same with houses. Um, remember, if you're going into houses, and I, I should know what the new rule is, um, but I've always asked permission from the listing agent if I can share their listing on social media. And most of the times they are totally cool with it. Um, same with if you take a photo from that listing agent and you wanna share it or under contract on this house, make sure you get permission from that agent as well. Um, and all you gotta do is send a quick text or call, hey, listen, I'm gonna post your photo, can I tag you? And um, can I tag you and post it? And most of the times they're totally cool with it. How do you increase followers? Um, so there's two ways. There's to buy them, no, I'm just kidding, don't buy them. That's, you don't want fake followers, you don't want, you just don't want them, they're a nuisance. But there's a like, like, comment is the new thing that um, they're talking about. And I don't know if you follow Katie Lance or she's a great um, speaker of Instagram. But basically you can like, like, comment on someone's photo and they have a better chance of following you. It takes a lot of time. Um, if you have a niche market that you like the lake, you can like, like, comment um, companies on the water or restaurants. Most of the times they will follow you back. So you can increase your followers like that. But like I said, it takes a lot of time. And I know some people um, spend 10 minutes a day and that's a good way. Also using hashtags. I'm horrible at using hashtags. Um, but hashtags are those symbols. You should know what a hashtag is. Um, but you can tag what's in the photo. So lake. Hashtag boat, hashtag sunny, hashtag sunset, whatever. And who's ever looking at that hashtag can follow you. Um, I just got buyers because the wife said she's been stalking me on Instagram. See, there you go. They're following you and you didn't even know that they were following you. Um, make sure everything you post is appropriate. Great. Keep it PG. Um, like I said, do you let your personal daily non real estate Instagram posts go to your Facebook business pages? Um, I do sometimes if it's sort of related to housing. Um, I don't really post my vacation photos on my business Facebook page. Um, my Facebook business page is linked to my um, is linked to my website, so those are connected. Um, so I kind of tend to keep my personal life off of my Facebook business page, but I do post a lot about my life. And when I first got my license, it was I'm going to take a trip for every house that I've sold because I'm really passionate about travel. And then I couldn't do that anymore. So my Instagram page is Christina with no H. It's C R I S T I N A agent. And it's up there wherever it is. Um, so you guys can tag or don't tag me. Follow me and I'll follow you back. Um, but I think we're done. We only have 45 seconds left, but um if there's anything else that you have questions with, feel free to send me a message. Um, my personal page is above my Facebook page and my Instagram's there. Um, there's so much more I could talk about. One more thing I'll talk about. When you're posting stories, which are those 10 to 15 minute, or 10, 10 to 15 second um, things that you're doing, make sure you write what you're doing. So for everyone who can't be on their phone all the time and, um, can't or is at an office and they can't turn on their sound. They want to see what you're doing, but if you can't, if if you don't write what you're doing, they're not going to know. So if you show a house, great, but write the address or write the price or do something so they know that that's a house for sale and it's available. Um, 
or if you're with your dogs and hey these are my dogs I don't know just something so that they can stay and in, interacted with your things but with the volume off um, that's a huge thing and subtitles same thing with movies um, and Facebook videos and all that so if there's no end any other questions I don't know um, thanks Maggie life and not just about listings love listings but I do post my listings on my story so that's the 15 and you can post multiple of them um, but if you go way back through my thing you'll see the houses that you'll see everything that and kind of how it's changed um, so thanks so much for joining me um, I hope you guys learned a little bit or a lot and we do this mobile Monday again so they do it every Monday and it's with a different speaker so if you guys have any other questions or want me to talk about any other social media I'm I'm happy to do so I love it it's what I do every day so um, just let me know or comment below thank you how do you combine personal business so you can make your personal a business account um, and the, I'll just make this the last question just so I don't go over time um so it, it's in your settings so I um, I don't have the actual but you'll go to your settings and then you'll go to change to um, business account and the settings are the four lines up there you do the settings and down here settings and then you can change it to account change into business account so super easy um, oh there it is and you can do paid advertisement social media is free it's the best way to promote yourself um, and you don't have to pay money to do so but if you do want to pay money you can do um, sponsored ads and that type of thing and you'll see those as you're scrolling sometimes so Thanks for joining, and that was fun. Um, thanks so much for writing all your names, and I will follow you guys all right now uh, once I get back on my phone. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.